I hope you're all ready. Because tonight, tonight something's going to happen. I don't know if I want to be part of it, but it's going to happen. One of the great things about art is it endures. It happens constantly. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're all having a lovely day. I can see a few of you are a bit trepidatious already. I can see in the chat people are a little bit, a bit nervous, a bit unsure. Julie, thank you very much for resubscribing. That's remarkably kind of you. Seth, to you as well. Now, just to let you understand how unsure I am about this, I don't normally drink, but I'm going to. I'm going to for this stream. It's the clip, man. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. I hope you're all having a lovely day. People are like, well, what do you drink? I'm very posh, obviously, so I drink Baileys. But not from a shoe. From a glass. I'm I'm going to... People are like, oh, are you going to react? Look, you can't... We need to discuss the reaction stream that happened last time. Because there were issues. There were problems. There was, in many ways, sadness. Sa sadness mixed with happiness. But I've got a plan for this stream. There is a plan. I need to lead you into the plan. Now, I can't just react to more of Asmongold's videos. Because the whole point of last stream was it was a satire. It was a parody. It was a joke. You know, I was I was taking the idea that reacting to something was actually just being derivative of the original work, and instead I was going off on such a tangent the original work itself actually became irrelevant. So, I found another video to react to. And I think this one will allow us to plumb the depths of the human psyche and really understand exactly, you know, where where we belong in the universe. And the video I found is called Josh Strife Hayes reacts to Asmongold reacting to the terror incident by Josh Strife Hayes says. Here we go. A video of me reacting to somebody else. So I'm wondering what happens if we react to the video of Asmongold reacting to me reacting to somebody else. I was wondering that when we made that video. And I think we we definitely understood that. I what was going to happen when I did that? This is exactly what happened. This isn't... Okay, right. Okay, listen. First of all, guys, don't worry. How how complex can the reaction meta get? Too complex, if anything. Too complex, too silly, over the top. When, don't worry. I'm not going to react to this. I have another stream planned for you tonight. I want to say, I got up at midnight and started watching your reaction video, uh, reacting to the reacting to the reacting, and now I'm enjoying the loop. It was silly, wasn't it? It was silly, it was weird. Poll it. We're not polling. I've got a plan. Just trust me. I've got a plan. You need to trust me with this one. Because we can't just go back and redo this, can we? That'd be, you know, it'd be going over old ground again. It wouldn't be anything new. We're going to play a game today play a game. It's going to be a just chatting stream. Mostly it's just, you know, me talking to you, but there's going to be a game going on. And we're going to use the game as background stuff. Now, I actually discovered this game recently. I discovered a game and someone mentioned it was real and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's try this game. So I want you all to Come along with me on this journey as we go together. And if, if you're a coward, leave now. Here we go. Did you know there is an official KFC dating game called I Love You, Colonel Sanders? Because I did not know. I did not know. This isn't a knockoff. This is an actual, official, genuine, real, bona fide KFC dating game. But you know what? No, we need to. We need to play the intro. You're ready. 
We need the intro. Here we go. If you want to leave now, guys, you can. You'd miss out if you did. But I'd understand. Maybe you can understand my decision to drink tonight. Because I watched that intro about half an hour ago, and I thought, I'm not doing this sober. Is it an actual real proper game that you can play through? Is it like a dating sim? Yes, it is. Now, I want you all to stop taking the piss out of dating sims. Okay? This is a very serious game. An anonymous gifter gave out subs. I understand why you want to remain anonymous. All right, nobody wants to be associated with this. I get it. Now, I understand that when I did the reaction to Asmon Gold stream, we had 2,000 people with us on Twitch. I know we're not going to get that. You know why? Because this, this is for the real ones. This is for the hardcore. If you're still here, you're making a lot of bad decisions. 2,000 people don't make this decision. Only dedicated individuals make this decision. You guys ready? Let's do this. New game. I'm scared that the game is going to be so good, every time I walk into a KFC, I'm just instantly going to fall for Colonel Sanders. Tell us your name. Josh Chan. No. Josh Kun. No. Just Josh. Just a nice, simple one. I can't... What am I drinking? Enough. That's what I'm drinking. I rarely watch your streams. You probably don't want to start now. This is not a good introduction. This is like being introduced to Lord of the Rings halfway through Return of the King. There's going to be a lot of questions. There's going to be a lot of setup that you don't have. You are going to be very confused. There's going to be a lot of characters you don't understand. We need to come up with a drinking game for Josh while playing this game. How about drink whenever I feel wrong? And that way I'll just constantly keep drinking. Great, it does. This is Bailey's, it's true. Where is your KFC bucket? I will... This is not a sponsored stream, because imagine if I contacted KFC and be like, hey, I'm going to play your dating sim on stream. I don't think they'd be happy with that. I really don't think. Drink, what, drink whenever I look disappointed in myself. Okay. It's my first time watching your stream. Let's do this. Josh, let's go. I'm so ready for this. I'm going to date the hell out of some Colonel Sanders. I've always wanted a military man. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, 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 your first day of culinary school. No time to sleep in. Do we, do we wake up? Do we throw the clock out the window? What do we do? Throw the clock out the window. You slept through the school year and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Game over. Fuck, guys. We fucked up. Straight away. We, we made a mistake. I give up. Alright, I hope you had a good time. That was... This is basically Elden Ring, but with more chicken. That's what this is. That was a faster fail than it. It was. This is peak content. We failed, guys. We failed. I am sorry. We're not watching the intro again. Once is enough. I've watched that three or four times to set the stream up. I am done. Settings... Volume is going down. Okay, right. Back. Let's continue. New game. This time, we don't throw the alarm clock out the window. Do you remember those old Dragon's Lair games? Those insta-kill kind of books that you would read, or games like, go left, go right, and then you, you die if you choose the wrong thing. Same thing. Are we looping in time already? We are. This The time loop has started, except this time the time loop is covered in 11 herbs and spices. You know, if I don't get the secret of 11 herbs and spices in this game, I'm very unhappy. Right, let's wake up. Smack that clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. University of Cooking school academy.
for learning. It's not just a university. It's not just a school or an academy. It's a university school academy. They train the smartest people. That's where you get the Sigma grind set right here. I'm make myself even smaller going to the corner because the writing is more important than me. They forgot college. They didn't. They didn't. This is better than college. Your mind begins to wonder. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Guys, do we take this seriously or do we allow ourselves to daydream a little bit? Just thinking about the future. I think we should daydream just a little bit. It's here finally. Your first day of culinary school, so many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realise you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Mmm, delicious. Just what you need to wake up those taste buds. It's not, is it even an anime if you aren't running late for your first day of school and then just have toast in your mouth while running? Yikes, you're in such a hurry you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I didn't realise it was going to be such a realistic game. Thanks. Okay, wow, they really, they, why are we in just chatting? Pixel. Okay, Pixel, I'll explain why we're in just chatting. Okay. I'm going to be real with you. How discoverable would this stream be if I was in I love you Colonel Sanders just just let's just process that one through I don't know if the I love you Colonel Sanders zone on Twitch has the highest viewership I'm pretty sure we could probably be a pretty high ranked stream on that site but that'd be like being king of like a very small hill wouldn't it I don't want to be king of a very small hill I want to be you know, like Lord of, of a medium size hill. That's the best way we could do it. Probably doesn't exist. You know what? It actually does. It genuinely does exist. Category has 11.1 thousand followers. This is Josh Dress says, it is, This is Neckbeard Simulator. I have forgot to put on deodorant. It hasn't said it, but I'm pretty sure I'm also wearing a Hawaiian t shirt, shorts with flame patterns on the side, cargo holders, little fanny pack on the front. I've got my Magic the Gathering deck ready to play with next time. All the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards are there. I've also got my Katana, which is uh, an umbrella, folded over a thousand times. Where's the fedora? There's always a fedora. Socks and sandals. Time to change the category. Oh, no. No, no. We are staying on just chatting, because I'm pretty much just chatting with you guys. That's what's happening. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. We can't keep saying that. We need to go back. So, UCS... A-L. You castle. Ook castle. That's what we're going. Yes. No. Ook. Ooksel. Yes. Ooksel. We are at Ooksel currently. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh my god, I've not seen her in ages. Hey, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. I do. Oh, we all, every squad has a Miriam, don't they? Every, every gang, every group of people hanging out has a Miriam. Good morning, Josh. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? It's a little bit fucking ominous there, Miriam, but okay. Actually, I'm, because I sure am, excited and a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What the... Now, it's not written in the game, but I'm pretty sure the word there is fuck. It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Miriam, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but it's COVID. That was, I mean, the, the food tasted fine. You need to isolate for, like, two weeks. You, I told you, this is not the right time to be going to the University of the Academy College for Learning. Is it? Ah, oh, right, here we go. Classic Miriam. <laughs> Raised by Master Chef parents, she always held herself to a very high standard. Master Chef parents, that's what that, uh, that's what that show was all about. Master Chef in the UK, they had a, a male winner and a female winner, then they forcibly bred them. 
to create. When I say bread them, I don't mean like MasterChef style bread, as in, you know, put them in an oven and raise them. Although maybe that's how she was raised, in an oven. But they basically wanted to create an immortal child cooking prodigy. I've had a bit to drink, guys. It's going to get worse, okay? It is going to get worse. Here we go. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> who, who didn't have a quicksand box in the garden? Who remembers the quicksand box? Ah, oh, so many children died until we got rid of all of those, didn't we? Isn't it weird how in American schools, like TV shows or cartoons, you always see like a weird box of sand. Put the children in the box of sand. Let's go. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Can you imagine the amount of work you'd need to do in three days to catch up? That'd be insane. That'd be ridiculous. It's the KFC visual novel. It is. A sweet girl. Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Miriam just straight up bit a mannequin. That's what she did. Just smashed her face into a mannequin in preparation. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Do we pep talk? Do we tell Miriam that she can do it? She's the best chef ever? Or do we just change the s school gossip? Do we change the subject to gossip? If we're going, are we kind or are we having a bit of a goss? Are we spilling the tea? I believe is what the kids say today. When we get to the important decisions later, I will run a poll on Twitch. In fact, you know what? We'll do it now. We're going to start right now. You guys are going to help me out with this. We're running a poll. That's what we're doing. We're going for either question, um, pep or goss. You guys are going to... Oh, God, I can't wait to play this game with you all. This is going to be the, the most okayest Twitch stream. Pep talk or gossip and we're going to run it for one minute so you best you best get your votes in quickly go for it guys no 50 50 we get 50 50 we are not restarting if we get 50 50 we just sit here and stare at miriam that's what we do the stream started early haven't finished the terror okay put the terror video on in the background play it this way it no stop it Stop getting 50-50 on these votes. I want to play the game. I will restart. No, I won't restart because I know that you'll do it. We're going with whichever one you go for. I hate everyone in this stream right now. All a thousand of you. 50-50 equals rewatch the opening. Only if you get 50-50 by like literal exact numbers. Like, not just 50%, 50%, but like actual 100%. Except I will take away voting rights. I will turn this stream around. We will go back to where we came from. Do you guys want Skyrim back? I'll sit in Skyrim. I won't even talk. Won't even talk. Best stream ever. It's not. 51% gossip. Fine. That's what we're doing. Gossip. It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. You're the first streamer who I've been supporting on Twitch, and I think you're amazing. Oh, Caro, tr tr if I'm the first streamer you've seen, it's going to get so much better. You know, when you discover other streamers and realise that this, this is pretty shit, you're going to be super impressed with what other people can do. I mean, other people play actual games. There's people playing Elden Ring right now. You can go and watch. There's speedrunners. You can watch people do like the end bosses of any game. Not look at sad Miriam. All summer you've been hearing rumours about a dreamy, enigmatic, mystery student who was enrolled at this school. Oxtear, it's a raid. Have we... Oh, God, oh my God. Can you imagine? It's a rage raid. Look, if you've raided right now from Rage Darling Stream... Rage, first of all, thanks for the raid. Secondly, are you sure? Did you do some scouting? Did you check what you were raiding? If you're a Rage, you might be causing your viewers to question your judgment. If you're raiding this kind of stream, here we go. 
Yeah, it's a little worrisome. You'll be fine now. Now, what about this mystery student we've read all about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. And they say he has powers. Ever, He's had them ever since he was born. From an egg. All humans are made from eggs when you go far enough back into the biological cycle. This isn't impressive. An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumours I've heard. Is this like a really shit My Hero Academia spin-off? I like that the heroes are off over there fighting the villains, and we just, we have one guy who has egg powers. That's what it is. Egg power, man. All he can do is make really good scrambled egg. Just phenomenal omelettes. That's what he does. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. Is... Is this... Is this the Mandeville family from Final Fantasy XIV? Is that what we're... Is, is this Godbert? Are we about to be cooking with Godbert Mandeville? I'd be okay with this. I, I hope he makes an appearance. You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. <gasps> hey! It's Ashile, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. It's obvious she can get anything she wants. She's stolen more letters than she needs for her first name. Ashle? Uh, Ashle? What is this? That's not how you spell Ashley at all. Ashle. That's what we're going for. We're calling her Ashle. Whoever typed mommy in the chat, no. Get out. All right? No. This is a serious stream for serious students of the University of Cooking Learning College Academy. We are learning how to cook. Oh, God, you're all doing it now. Hello, Aishulai. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Well, fuck you, Ashley. They're the hardest place to add mass. Uh, I sit downstairs on the edge of my bench with the barbell across my knees, doing the little lifts when you kind of go up onto the balls of your feet, lifting it up. I try. You have no idea how hard it is to add mass onto your shins, Ashley. You leave Josh's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. They are. Absolutely, totally normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. God damn. God, even the game knows. Now, I'm not going to lie, she do have the hips going on, but we can't... Right, do not let yourself be distracted. Animated maidens are temporary. Cooking skills are forever. Is Skyrim done? Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Skyrim, we can go back to Skyrim right now if you want to. If you would rather just, you know, romp around Skyrim with Rufus, we can do that. Or we can meet a... What is happening here? Go... We can... Should we restart? Just so people who have arrived know what's going on. Okay, here we go. If anyone knows here... If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. What? Why has this argument become about the shape of your shins? We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Aishalay's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rockin' glutes. Um, Van Van the Man Man. You rat... <laughs> Oh, God, it is. It's Mandeville. Look at him. Look at him. I bet he could cook a chicken just by looking at it. You rang rang. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. That's a Jojo... It is. That is definitely a Jojo reference. I mean, look at that. It's Star Platinum right there. 
I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Am I going to have to do different voices for every single... Oh my god. I'm so glad I stopped playing Guild Wars 2 expansion for this. Don't tell the Guild Wars 2 devs that. Okay, I think I'm like... I like to think the Guild Wars 2 devs don't dislike... Do the voices, Josh. I see. Finance. Okay. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. We need to, he needs to be super cocky, super arrogant. Super, super arrogant. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid push hard against the window directly next to it. It's fucking Rufus! Rufus has left! He, we can't lose him! What are you doing?! I hate him so much. He just turned up and farted. His name is Pop. I, I don't want to do these voices. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. There, that should do the trick. I love you. I, I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop and I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. I hate this guy so much. I don't even want to be in the same school as him. I want to report him to the headmaster just for being the way he is. That's what I want to do. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Josh, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Miriam, you have shit taste in men. Uh, but if you want to... Miriam, you know what? Live and let live. If you want to go for that, you go for that. I will wingman you. It will not be difficult. I, uh, I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable. Now, now. Quiet down, everyone. The professor is a dog called Sprinkles. Also, why is that picture so realistic in the game? What is... why? Who is this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of Uxal. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. You know what? You know what? I get it. I get it, Dog. I understand. I know how you feel. Because you can be cute. And, uh... And fluffy. You can have these things going on. Are we going to... Uh, is this going to happen? Are we going to do this? You don't necessarily need... Sometimes you just want to feel pretty. Okay? Sometimes you do just want to feel pretty. I don't understand that. I do what I want. Josh, WTF is this. I'll explain what this is. This is freedom. This is freedom from Skyrim. Freedom from Rufus. Freedom from the Twitch meta game, which apparently is reactions. Many years ago, and by that I mean yesterday, I woke up thinking, oh man, I've got to play the games I don't like, make videos I don't care about. I've got to react and act in ways I don't really value. In order to get those dollar dollar bills, yo. And then I thought, no, fuck it. I'm going to play the KFC dating sim on Twitch. Nobody tells me what to do. Here we go. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. 
I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then he walks in. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Oh, look at him. I bet he smells like eleven herbs and spices. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favourite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Looks like, you know when you've eaten too much food and you get the meat sweats? I think you get the meat sweats just standing by this guy. That's what it is. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Ashley, don't point out the sweat when the Sanders man is walking next to me. Maybe we should open that window back up before Forcer Pitts melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Shut up, Van Van. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all your really weird insults? You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. It's just, just a little bit greasy. That's what it is. Just a little bit greasy. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Oh, he's, he's Kentucky, is he? That makes sense. Please, use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Oh, I bet he is finger licking good. I bet he is. There's no, we've got no proof of that yet, but he will be. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. I mean, there are two situations that someone would see how sweaty you are in. One of them, brilliant, because you've been working on it together. The other one, not as good, because you're just wearing the wrong clothes. I think this is the wrong one. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Do, do we take the handkerchief? Do we refuse the handkerchief? Professor Dog is looking at us very expectantly. We need to poll this. Don't do 50-50, guys. I need answers. Okay. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Take. Refuse. One minute. Start the poll. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. Ooh, right. Restart the game. No, the game is not restarting. I get... No. No, you do not restart the Colonel Sanders. Once he has given you his love, we do not restart. This is my first stream. Um, dream, go and, all due respect, go and watch another one. This is not the first, I don't want this to, you know, Colonel Sanders does not want this. We don't want this to be the first impression for Colonel Sanders. I don't want this to be the first impression for you. Uh, this is bad. Your accent needs more southern drawl to it. What am I drinking? What or why? What am I drinking is Bailey's. Why I'm drinking is because of this. Notice me, senpai. He is noticing us. The, the southern drawl. I've got the kind of... Uh, a kind of sexy little southern American vibe going on for the Colonel Sanders. That's what we'll get. My first Josh Strife Hayes stream, and it's an excellent first impression. I am sorry for everyone there. We take it. We take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and... Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets some ground rules. It's just a cleaning wipe. It's like, it's just all he's done. When you weren't looking, he actually took one of those KFC cleaning wipes out and just ripped open the little paper sachet and just kind of opened it and then unfolded it several times, like the kind that you get on an aeroplane. He just handed you that. It smells faintly of lemon. 
That lemon chicken, that's what you smell. You were remembering Chinese lemon chicken. That's what it smells like. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There may even be really adorable tiny food. I'm going to be real with you, Sprinkles. I really hope there's not blood. All right, we're here to cook food. I don't want to get stabbed. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Yes. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. So, I mean, steak can be bloody. That's fine. Steak can totally be bloody. That's okay. This is a weird MMORPG. Just, it gets good 100 hours in. Uh, just bear with me. It's going to be fine. Hey, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! You shut your face. You shut your stupid face. Look at how angry you've made Professor Dog. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? D don't you recognise me? This is my third year in school with you as, 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 as my teacher. Whoever said he looks a bit like me, you, I, I will ban you. I'll straight up ban you from this chat. This is not the way we're doing this. Is this as painful to watch as the loop? M maybe more so. It's not necessarily more or less painful. It's like a different type of pain. Everyone stares at him blankly. D does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to students. Tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. I love him. I want to protect him. I feel an emotional, intense bond. I feel he... We are all Clank on this blessed day. Someone's like, Skyrim's looking different. Clank is... I've only known Clank for like 30 seconds. I already would pledge my undying loyalty to him. The glass burst into laughter. How dare you laugh at Clank? Oh, Clank, you rascal. <laughs> oh. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. <laughs> yeah, Clank... Clank went on a different approach to life after Ratchet decided to leave him. This is no stranger than Thomas the Tank Engine's Skyrim mod. Walk away for ten minutes, I'm already lost. Don't try. Don't try and find the thread. Just go with it. Is this KFC fanfiction turned into a game? Okay, one step worse. This is official. This is actually officially made and distributed by KFC. Like, this isn't just some random fan project. They endorsed this. This is a real thing. You can Google it right now. This is on Steam. For free. I was going to play Elden Ring, but this is just too good. Yeah. Even better if you use the official Twitch category. No, we're... Should we? Should I change it? Should we? Hang on. You know what? Let's, let's commit. Let's do that, actually. I'm going to change and stream in the official Twitch category. Edit stream info. That's what we need. Category. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger-licking good dating simulator. Updated and done. It's actually a real thing on Twitch. It's been done. It's been updated. It's there. Here we go. King of the small hill. I'll take that. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. All right, Sprinkles, you don't know me. You don't know my life. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Okay, let's just poll this again. So, treat. We can go with beef. We can go with rubber ball. Or we can go with chicken snack. Okay, one minute. That's all you get. What treat? What are we going to go for? 
You don't need to tell me. There's a poll on stream right now. You can... 33, 33, 33 meta. No. Stop doing that. Stop ruining KFC Dating Simulator. Chicken snack is your shins. Hey, right, look, I'm trying with my shins, man. I'm trying. So we've got beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. That's what we're going for. Beef treat, rubber ball, or the chicken... I mean, the chicken snack would make sense. I don't know if KFC do too much with beef in them. Ryoku stubbed with Prime. Why? Why? You could have subbed to anyone else on Twitch. This is not good. This is not good at all. But he knows chicken. Yeah, he'd be able to tell you that the chicken is crap. Okay, what is this? And this is gaming perfection. Uh, this this month has seen three games release. Elden Ring, Horizon Forbidden West, and this. This is the KFC dating simulator. And we're playing it. You can all shut up. Chicken snacks, go for it. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favourite good choice. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack. Furry professor because he has fur, not because he is snow. Okay? Leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Oh, it's hitting all the right notes. You see the other students eyeing you jealousy, but pay no mind to them. If they want to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavours on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your mind opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favourite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Josh, th there's a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh, shit, son. Oh, no. What do we do? We don't need a poll. We do. We do, though. Okay. Do we go? So, right. Sit. Sit. Do we go with Miriam? So, best friend. Best friend? Best friend? Or hot daddy? That's the question. What do we do right now? Do we abandon? Do we abandon our childhood friend just because some hot dude has shown up who can cook some finger licking chicken. What do we do? Do we abandon? Do we not abandon? Hot Daddy for science? Josh trying to get that KFC sponsorship? Trust me, after watching this stream, they won't want to. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good for their brand. I'll play the game, but I'm not going to play it in the way they want. You lurkers best be voting. 52% go for the Hot Daddy. Friends can wait. Hot Daddy not even a choice. Stick it out with the BFF. Miriam already fell in love with Rufus. You know what? Good point. Miriam, she had a thing going on with Pop, didn't she? She was properly taken with Pop. We can give her the chance to chat with Pop. We can go and hang out with the chicken boy. The, no. The chicken man. Hot Daddy wins with 51%. Colonel Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Th thanks, th thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Damn, Sanders, I did not come here today to learn about life. I thought I was going to learn about food. Sanders out here dropping knowledge bombs. Dropping truth bombs. See? I thought I was just going to learn about chicken. No, no. Learn about life. Hard philosophy right there. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. Shut up, Pop. 
This is incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Now, I don't know if this is timed, but if it is, I'm not going to be able to poll the questions. I'm just going to choose the answers. If train A is travelling to point B and train B is travelling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Depends what you've been touching with your hands throughout the day. That's very true. Fry the dog. Roast pop. Corn chick. His name is Pop Corn Chicken. Oh God. Is his name is his last name Corn Chicken? Seriously. I swear to God, if if his last name is Corn Chicken, that would actually be amazing. Yeah, I mean, as people in the chat are saying, you've got a clean dick. You don't need to wash your hands after going to the bathroom. See, Asmon infects all of us in a good way. Is that a corgi? That, sir, is a professor, and I will thank you to show some respect. Thank you very much. Yeah, looking at you, Pop. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather, night vision goggles, or a slam dunk. Love your videos, first stream. I'm I am sorry, to be honest. If you've if you watch the YouTube videos and you've come over here expecting more of the same, I do apologise. All right, mate. You, there's still time to just go back and watch more videos. To be honest, forest is to tree as chicken is to a slam dunk. That's wrong. Didn't teach us. Didn't tell us just just wrong. What is the most efficient eating utensil? ever created a comically oversized fork a meat tenderizer or a spork holds up spork hi i'm katie to penguin of doom who remembers i was there i was there three thousand years ago who remembers the original katie to penguin of doom copy pasta god damn Ran me being random. That's what... Who remembers Bebo girls and stuff? Mice. Who... Let's be real. Let's just talk real for a second, guys. Who had a thing for the whole MySpace scene queen girl look? I think we all did. There was a thing with the MySpace emo girl scene queen look. The big hair, the, the pink stripes in it. The, the, the carrying a skateboard but never actually skateboarded, that kind of thing. Black and white checker patterns. I mean, when I was a young boy, my father did actually take me into the city to see a marching band. Yeah, see? I was a scene girl. Scene girls captured the hearts of every nerdy kid. And you know what those nerdy kids grew up to do? They grew up to play KFC dating simulators on the internet. And it doesn't sound impressive, and it probably isn't. I don't know where this sentence is going. Let's just get back to the game. A spork. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything. As long as it is prepared with love. And not too much salt. Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. We all want some camel meat every now and again, but I am I am pretty partial to a pancake that looks like a silly let camel meat, fuck it. That's wrong. Is Sprinkles a good boy? No. He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy or yeah look look we can be we can be funny. We can have jokes, we can mess around, but there is a line, and that line is sprinkles. That's right. Three out of five. It's no perfect score, but at least it's not a complete and utter embarrassment. You catch Colonel Sanders eyeballing your answers. His reaction's hard to read. Uh, may I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow. The cafeteria is... The Stewart Cafeteria. As in Martha Stewart. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. 
Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologise for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Now, don't get me wrong, Colonel Sanders. You're hot and all. But this this dude here, he was he was talking. Am I trying to date the dog? I mean, right now, I think I'm just trying to survive. I think right now, honestly, I am just focused on getting my diploma and getting out of here. Yeah, Sanders, I get that you're hot and everything, but this dude was talking, all right? Now, we may not be sexually attracted to this guy, but that does not change his importance or his value as a human being and as a member of this school. You let him talk. Everyone cheers. But, but, but I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. I hate him so much. How is my liver? I'm still playing this game, so clearly I've not drank enough to make me stop. She said, shh, shut up, Pop. In honour of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. First time I watched the stream after a ton of vids. This is a weird first time, but I kind of like it. Papa, you can leave. It's okay. Don't worry. You do No, you don't need to be here. This is like actual university, actual college. Is this a drunk stream? Not yet. Not yet. It will be. I arrived late. What am I drinking? Bailey's. Pop and student of the inferior... No. Everyone's first time is weird, it's true. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed. That smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumours true? Is this. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking, and start. <laughs> they fried the dog. <laughs> so funny in chat. <laughs> no, that's Professor Dog. Show some respect. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavours. You look around and notice that every student has a pen and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? Do you think we want your stupid recipe, dude? <laughs> nah, my dude. Nah. Oh yeah, so for those of you who have arrived late, that's Ashley and that's Van Van. So Ashley is based on all of the annoying anime girls and I'm 99% sure Van Van is just Jojo in disguise. That's what he is. I mean, look, look at his hair. It is platinum coloured and it's a star. Van Van the Man Man, he is definitely just Jojo. That's what he is. Okay, Van Van the Man Man. He doesn't want the recipe, but we do. We definitely do. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case one of those uh, ingredients is uh, poison. <laughs> Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realises that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him. All to herself. Now I obviously... I don't really have a horse in this race, but I do kind of want to kill Ashley. Just straight up. I want to go full on Doki Doki Literature Club right now. I just want to stab her. Well, I'm going to take a... I'm going to eat a chicken drumstick 
and then I'm just going to gently gnaw the bone until it's spiky, and then just... that That's where the blood is coming from. When the dog said earlier there will be blood, I'm going to make that happen. Fry her. Hide the evidence. Oh, please. Well, Van Van the Man Man. If you don't want any, I'll take his. Am I... Is my character like a little bitch in the game? Am I just completely over this? Yanderison was remade differently. Apparently it was, yes. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I guess I'll try. He takes one bite, and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate. Do we savour the moment and everything that it tells you? Or do we swim towards the light? I like the, the chat. Think. Feel. Chicken. This is what Heidelin does on when she's when she's not busy talking to adventurers. Mauled seethe popcorn. Stop making me want KFC. My kids got the car. This is just a 90-minute KFC out of it. I say that. I have no idea how long the game is. I do not know. It's the final boss, your cholesterol. It is. The final boss is you have to eat an entire KFC family bucket without having to run to the bathroom for the next week. It's about two hours long. Oh, we can stretch that. Hope you get sponsored. Can you really imagine someone from KFC watching the stream and going, yes, that's the kind of family-friendly shit that we want to put our money to? If you know anyone who's in the upper management of KFC, don't even tell them. Because they will get this closed down. Well, they did put it into the game. Are we going to have to poll this? We're going to have to poll this. Hang on. We're going to have to do lots of polls. So what I'll do is we'll just with option one, two, and three. So we've got one, two, and three. So one is focus your mind and meditate on the moment. Identifying every flavour. Two is savour the moment. And everything it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. And three is just swim towards the light. Just accept death. That's the one. Accept the death is going to have to happen eventually. We might have to restart the whole game. I don't know. We might do. If we if we swim toward the light, I vote for dying. I mean, if, if there's a way to do that in this game, we'll find it, don't you worry. I mean, someone in KFC approved this game. Someone did. Someone, for some reason, someone at the top. Are there dead ends? I have no idea. I've never played this game before. If we get all 33%, do we restart the game? No. No, I just choose the best option I want to. We aren't restarting this. Skyrim aware? Look, I don't think you understand how far above Skyrim this is. This is so far above Skyrim right now. You're all voting for Swim Toward the Light. You're all dicks, you know that. Fine, three, Swim Toward the Light. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavours are so intense, you become wrapped up in them, unable to resist. You reach toward the light, it grabs your hand and pulls you closer. Closer. Until your fingertips connect with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no Josh now. There is only herbs and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. Game over. We fucking died. The chicken that he cooked was so intense. It, You killed me. You killed us in KFC. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A dating sim. And you managed to find the death choice. You now have grounds to sue. Apparently, we, we, we got salmonella. That's what it was. 
I mean, the gamers obviously put it like this, but it was just salmonella. People are like, wait, you can die? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Is this the Dark Souls of Date Sims? It is. We're going to try again. Please don't put me back in the start. Please don't put us all the way back in the start. There is... Oh, oh my God. We're back in the cafeteria, but... Okay, right. We've got to get through to the bit now where we get the choice. Hang on. I'm just skipping. You made this happen. All of you. I'm sure you can just like hold this and just fast forwards through it. Yeah. There's a skip button. We're still sweaty, though. We are still sweaty. Thank God we're not back at the start. Can you freaking imagine? Right. We're not swimming toward the light. So I'll still take a poll, but we're not swimming toward the light. Option one and two. That's all we get. The time loop has started again. The twelfth secret spice is ten hours sitting in the food warmer. You're not voting three. I'm not doing it. There's a poll. Option one and two. I'm not taking it. One plus two equals three. No. Where's Skyrim? Skyrim's gone. Skyrim's forgotten. Skyrim is no more. No one cares about Skyrim anymore. All right, this. I'll play Skyrim at some point. Don't worry. We'll get back to Skyrim eventually. Right, came for Rufus, stayed for the KFC. Skyrim swam toward the light. That's what happened. This is Skyrim. Every game is just a mod of Skyrim. Can option C be to you make a new React video? If you weren't here for our last ridiculously long React stream, then you can go and watch it. It's on YouTube. It's on Josh Drive Says. Here we go. Oh my god, you've got it to 50-50 again. Would you stop doing this? Would Oh no! It's it's on 126, both of you. It's You're such a dick. I hate everyone in this chat. Like, you've not only got it to 50... Fine, swim toward the light. Oh, look. Oh, look. What happened? We died. Again. We failed. Again. Let's try again, shall we? Let's go through the... You know, I'm going to pick the option. You have lost option picking privileges for this choice. I want you to remember that being part of this Twitch stream is a privilege, not a right. And you have lost that right. I was going to put the cat ears back on, but now I'm not going to. I was going to put the cat ears back on and be all kawa... If you don't deserve me, right, if you can't handle me at my senpaiest, you don't deserve me at my kawaiest. That's the true. That is the true. I'm going to focus my mind and meditate to identify every flavour. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinising every flavour. Salt, maybe? Pepper? It's too obvious. Oregano? Basil? Maybe? But there's something else. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 Yes. Even deeper still. Until you find it. Could it be... Blank? He really did it. How bold. How adventurous. To use... Blank. You try to go even deeper into the sea. It's come. I'm sorry, guys. It just is. But this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realise that this information... It's, it's dog. <laughs> it's MSG. It's MSG. It's sweat. That's what it is. He was actually collecting all the sweat of all the students at the very start of the game. That's what it is. You snap out of it and realise that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet, now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around, you realise that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you've travelled through time, space and time. After tasting his food, you try to get some good one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second? Anything. For a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? How bold to come out and ask. 
It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Where did he get the staff? Yeah, don't. You don't want to know where he got the staff. We're all thinking it. That's what that's. You know what earlier when it said he was sitting really straight up on the chair? Now we know why. Uh, that is exactly what was helping helping his posture. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, what are you drinking, mate? Uh, Bailey's right now. <laughs> People in the chat, can you romance the uh, the colonel? Work his drumstick. Uh, I'm not sure if the stream is good or my day was bad. Bit of both. Little of column A. Little of column B. It's just you and me here, Colonel. I'll tell you my. I'll I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give in easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You got moxie. I'll give you that. I appreciate it. Thank you. I like it when people say I've got moxie. Haven't we ever drunken Baileys from a shoot? No, old Greg, I have not. Josh, you need a classier drink. Um, what do you mean classier drink? This is salted caramel brownie flavour from Marks and Spencer's. All right. I'll tell you why I bought it, because I went into Marks and Spencer's after Christmas when everything was on sale. That's the kind of middle class person that I am. I like to walk around Waitrose and then look at the prices of things and go, no. If you if you live in the UK, if you live in England like me, one of the greatest hobbies is to walk around really expensive shops and then not buy anything and then go to really cheap shops and buy things from there. That's what you do. Or what you do is you walk around like Waitrose or Marks and Spencers and you wait until the end of the day when they have sales. And then you just sit there following around the person that has yellow stickers. You have the drinking palate of a five-year-old. Prime. Here's, let's just talk about this. When I was in university, I went to the student union, the bar, and there were a lot of boys, lads there drinking pints of bitter and lager and ale. And I ended up saying, can I have, uh, I don't know, look, I think it was a, a WKD, something that's bright blue and full of sugar. And all these lads looked at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, I like this. This is tasty. This is nice. This tastes like fruit. This tastes like sugar. Your drinks taste like bitter. It's in the title. People always go, oh, it's not a manly drink. Let's not gender drinks. And even if we did, can we just talk about the fact that the manliest thing you can do is whatever you enjoy, regardless of other people's necessary perceived opinions of it. If you like the taste of something, get it. When I go to a bar, I order a cocktail. You know why? Because it's fruity and it's tasty and I can sip it slowly. And I, people are always, they look at me. You know, I'll walk in, I've got a suit on, got my big black jacket on, look like an extra from Peaky Blinders. I'll walk in and I'll say, I'll have a mojito, please. I'll have a sex on the beach. I'll have a screwdriver. And the the bartenders look at me sometimes and they kind of take the piss. They're like, oh, can we, uh, can we, do you, do you want like a little umbrella with that as well? I'm like, God damn right, I want a little umbrella with that. All drinks taste better with a little tiny umbrella in them. I will stand there, I will sip it out of a, a cocktail glass? That'd be great. If someone wants to take the piss out of you... All right, Del Boy. If someone wants to take the piss out of you for drinking a drink that you like the taste of, that just shows that person is insecure. Secure people do not feel the need to judge other people's drink choices. Right, now we've talked about serious, down-to-earth, honest, genuine, you know, emotional, real stuff... Let's get back to trying to bang Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. 
You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. It smells like chicken grease. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. It's cocaine, isn't it, Colonel? It's co It's like the original Coca-Cola recipe. It's just cocaine. Blank? Wow. You'd never have guessed. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And blank definitely isn't the flavour you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, staring, st standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. What did I just tune into, Johan? I'll tell you what you just tuned into. You, you just tuned into the future of Twitch. Every now and again, there'll be a film event... And I don't mean to overstate my own importance, but I do think that this is potentially the future of online entertainment. Every now and again there'll be an event, and people won't realise how big it is until after the event. You know when the first Matrix came out in the cinemas? No one really cared. And then it became one of the biggest... What you're watching here is like the KFC dating sim version of the first Matrix. No one will care when it's happening. It'll be popular, but not you know massively. But years from now, People will look back on this exact video and say that was a great moment on Twitch. And then I'll make two sequels and they'll kind of suck. And then I'll move off and make a film about fast racers and that'll suck. And then I'll come back and try and make a fourth film about this and that'll be really bad. But th this will be good. That's so th this is The Matrix but with chicken and anime boyfriends. Please, Josh, I don't want this future. Can't wait for KFC Reloaded. KFC Refried. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on the world. You can bet on that. Alone together. For the first time. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up or be modest but thoughtful. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what negging is, I will explain in a second. Hang on. Let me just add in... We're going to go with responses. Neg extra ingredient or modest. Now, before I start this, for those of you, negging is a terrible flirting technique where you put someone else down in order to make them feel desperate and inferior and to want you. So, if I was to walk up to a random person in a club and be like, that hairstyle does not suit you. I just want to put it out there, you know, you've got you know, great face, you've got a decent body, but that hairstyle, that is not doing you any favours. It is not combining with the colours on your clothes, which, let's be honest, you probably could have chosen better. If you walk up to someone and you basically try to make them feel shit, which, in weird psychological circles, what then happens is... So, pick-up artists say that this works. You say something negative to someone, which makes them seek your approval. So it makes them desire, it increases their desires for you to say that they are good. Yeah, it's it's an abusive relationship, pretty much. Yeah, all those guys on pickup arts on YouTube. Yeah, pretty much. So, you know, you walk into a club, you walk up to someone, you're like, I wouldn't normally go for like a six out of ten, but, you know, hey, I, I figured I'd give it a go. Do you want to get a drink or something? And that is negging someone. It's saying something negative to someone, which makes them think, oh, I didn't realise that I was... I was that low. I may as I, I want this guy to approve me now. Yeah, more of it. Your hair sucks, but I like it. Kind of, yeah, you can do that one as well. It supposedly works on women with low self-esteem. You know what also works on women with low self-esteem? Just being nice. Just like 
genuinely being nice and giving people genuine, honest, heartfelt, actual compliments. Ooh, I need to use psychology to trick people into sleeping with me. Why don't you just be nice to people? Being nice is not exciting. It depends how nice you're being. Being nice to anyone with low sight, and be, just be nice to anyone. But I'm a nice guy, why won't girls date me? It's because of the fedora. The, the flowchart of should you wear a fedora is very simple. It's one question. The question is, are you Frank Sinatra? The answer is yes, wear a fedora. That's fine. No one can tell you no. The answer is no, don't wear a fedora. People always go, oh yeah, but the fedora looks good on me. Don't care. That's been tainted. It's been destroyed. As a hat, it's been broken. You should be wearing one type of hat, and it's a beanie hat. It's the kind of hat that I wear all the time. What about Indiana Jones? Yeah, he's a, he's okay. He can do that. It was the fedora all along. Extra ingredient one. Hey, Colonel, I know that your chicken is amazing, but why don't you add an extra ingredient? You know about that. I was thinking about your secret recipe. <laughs> I don't doubt it. As a way of leaving its impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you know a thing or two about blowing... Mines with new flavors. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? Do you want to change my secret recipe? <laughs> you think you can do it better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? Heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne... But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. The recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I, I, I didn't mean to. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Josh. I'm heading back to class for the next lesson. That certainly didn't go as planned. You better head back inside. But wait a moment so that... Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. Someone in the chat's like, screw him. We're trying to. That's why the answer you gave was wrong. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Not a flirting natural, I see. I'm, hey, I'm pretty good at flirting. I walk up, I mean, let's, let's flirt. All right, you're at the bar. You're sat chilling. Let's let's uh, let me take you on a flirting masterclass. I'll walk up to you. Are we doing pickup lines or are we just doing like high? If we're doing high stuff, are we doing pickup lines? I can do both. All right, flirts with Josh. Double on tondas. A bar in this economy. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I'll say, did it hurt? And then you'll say, when? And I'll say, when you clawed your way up from hell. I'll walk out of and I'll go, hey, what's your favorite color? And you'll go, I don't know, blue. And I'll go, mine too, let's bang. See? And do you want to know how often that works? It doesn't. Sometimes I'll walk, dear diary. Um, did it hurt? And the girl will look and be like, you know, when you fell from heaven, I'll be like, no, when you, when you fought your way past whatever was stopping you getting in here. I mean, you look a little bit messed up right now. That's the neg, see? There we go. Went to the bathroom, come back, we're in a future kitchen of miracles. No, no, I'll tell you what you're in right now. You're in a flirting masterclass. Yeah, you smell, do you want to shower together? You know what, that's a good chat up line but you need to make sure that you don't leave a long pause between the opening and the closing. You can't just rock up to someone, sit down and be like, hey, you smell. Because then they're wondering, what, what, where are we going from here? You know, don't get me wrong, it's a serious amount of confidence just to walk up to someone and be like, you smell. I would do that. Hi, Josh. I'm a new viewer. I'm so sorry for what you're about to see. Introduce your YouTube through Asmongold after watching the entirety of The Loop. Wants to hop into a stream. Be ready for the craziness. The video had me in tears for three and a half hours. It's not the only thing I can do to make someone cry for three and a half hours. 
I could also explain Legend of Zelda lore wrongly. See? That's how you do it. Are you all flirted out now? Sips Bailey's. No, please. Please, no. I'd watch that. The Legend of Zelda is about the main sword-wielding character, Zelda. Here we go. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything. Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. What am I doing? What am I drinking? What am I drinking, Baileys? You're in the bad ending now. You'll never get to sleep with Colonel. You've ruined the playthrough. Okay, right. We don't... You don't know that. You don't know that for a fact. Welcome, students, to the Cooking Arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? Uh, a, a team of two, that is. Uh, me, me and you, if, if that wasn't clear. I'm going to glomp the Colonel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up, jump on, grab them. Not been glomped at a convention since, like, the mid-2000s. Want to be my partner? Sure, Josh. I'll prepare our station. Yeah, you prepare that station, Colonel. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep boop. Oh my, uh, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but it's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Do we ask Rufus, who apparently is called Pop in this one, or do we ask Clank? I am going to vote this. I'm pretty... If, if this vote doesn't go the way I think it will, I'm going to lose a lot of faith in a lot of you, to be honest. There we go. You have a minute to go through. We could be trusted again. Yeah. I'll trust you again one more time. There's 1.2 thousand people watching this for some reason. I'm sure I can try and trust you. Good evening, Gren. Gren, first of all, good evening. Okay, It is Wednesday, my dude. It's not going to be 50-50. Oh, for God's sake. What the hell is this? I'll tell you what the hell this is, EJ. This is one of the greatest video games ever made. If you look in the Video Game Hall of Fame, it goes like this. Final Fantasy VII. Barbie Race and Ride. Dark Souls. I love you, Colonel Sanders. And then every other game is joint fifth. That's how it works. Clank isn't even human. Yeah, but look at him. Look at that little cheeky little smile. Cheeky little chabby grin right there. Biggest streamer in the category. Fantastic. Excellent. I'm... That's all I've ever wanted. I'm going to call my dad. I'm going to let him know. Clank, here we go. Sorry, Pop, but I think Moon will be partnering with Clank today. If okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Warp. 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 I will do all the voices. That's what you get. You're so big in the category, you've eliminated all the other competition. I'm the only one. You know what? That's how we do it. That's how I become the world number one streamer at so many games. I just find a load of games with no one streaming them. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Bzzzed. Tissue. I hardly know you. <laughs> oh, Miriam. Oh, Miriam, you card. Clank judders, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. 
Now it's time to focus on your own cooking glasswork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea? Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy. And you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders. Mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, well, we need to poll this, don't we? Because meal. Let's have a look. So, steak tartare. Octopus. Or mashed. Or mash. That's what we've got. The potatoes. Are you kidding me? KFC serves them. Yeah, but no one gets the potatoes. Everyone always gets either the coleslaw, sometimes the beans. Don't get me wrong, and I'm not going to lie here, KFC's mashed potatoes aren't bad. Like, they're not terrible, but you get the coleslaw. And then what you do is you put the coleslaw on your burger. KFC mash is trash. Oh, things are heating up in the mashed potato fandom. Corn on the cob is a solid winner. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Beans, there's nothing wrong with beans at KFC, especially if you squeeze in one of the barbecue sauce sachets. Is this JP Adult Game? No. For anyone who's new, this is an official, actual, realistic, and endorsed KFC dating simulator game. This is real. This is not, you can go on Steam right now and find this. People are saying mashed potato. Mashed potato it is. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. And did you see how his little hearts happened there? Maybe mashed potatoes? And gravy. I, I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I I'll go get the potatoes. No, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Oh, God, please, Colonel Sanders, tell me some more of your passions. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Yeah, I do, Ashley. Have you seen the guy? He can cook. He's tall. He's good-looking. Only reason I'm not banging him right now is because we're in glass. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? No, jeez, Van Van, while I'm over here crushing Josh's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That's the deal, remember? That is a crazy scary face right there. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, Jojo's in this as well. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duo now? Actually, no. It looked like Josh was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is, these young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. <laughs> Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. And personally, I have no doubts about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this... Thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complementary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel, if you don't watch out. I can't compete with those hips. She's got curves. 
All I've got is a glass of Baileys and a can-do attitude. Ashley is negging us right now. She's winking. I swear her skirt has got shorter since last time. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that I have to do this, but if I go to... In, well, if, when... Right, let's just put this out there. Is it worth me making a Colonel Sanders cosplay? Just putting it out there. Is it worth, at some point, cosplaying as Colonel Sanders from the I Love You Colonel Sanders dating sim? I think it is. I would do white hair. I would get a wig, I would dye my hair white, I would do it properly. That is indeed the dream. Can I just point out something that's going to ruin it? If, if, you're on, if you're on a PC right now, do this. Google the KFC logo, okay? or the, the Colonel Sanders head logo. Notice he's wearing like a little bow tie kind of thing. Is that a bow tie just there? Yeah. Do you ever realise that if you look at the bow tie, it looks like a tiny stick figure? So you've got leg, leg, arm, arm, head. Google the Colonel Sanders head logo, and when you see that the bow tie he is wearing, or the string tie, looks like a tiny little arms and legs, you can't unsee it. I've ruined it for you now. You cannot unsee the fact that the KFC logo looks like a stick man with a massive head. Why would I do this? I hate you, tiny body. He's the first. So yeah, technically, Colonel Sanders is a chibi. He is. It's there. It's a chibi. Buy me a Baileys for this. Damn it, Josh. Also, did you know there's a weird thing in, I think it's, is it Japan? Where they eat KFC at New Year or Christmas. It's one of those big holidays. I'm absolutely sure that it's, I think it's, is it Japan? Yeah, they eat KFC at Christmas. And the reason they do this, this is genius. They basically, there was an advert campaign in Japan that said... Everyone in the West eats KFC at Christmas. So people in Japan went, well, if the West does it, we should do it. And they started doing it. But, of course, no one eats KFC for Christmas over in the West. It's not a thing that we do. So Japan have got this weird tradition built up from being told that everyone else did it. And now they happen to be the only people that do it. Which is, from a marketing perspective, it's genius. I also like the fact, Josh noticed me, first one man, I've seen you. I see that. I got pranked by Mark, they did. I made it from my desk into bed. What did you miss? So much. So, so much. Have a great stream. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. Right, she is coming for my man. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders hunk of hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. This is going to be a poll. Okay, so turn to and then do we do Sanders or Miriam? You have a minute. You have a minute to vote. We've just been negged. We've just been put down. Can I point out, by the way, that the music that I'm listening to right now, because I'm listening to the game music, is going hard. Okay, I'm going to turn it up. This is what the game sounds like right now. Like, it is going for it. That is boss fight music, man. This is like, I am, I'm so hyped up for this. I want to punch someone right now. This is just, oh, this is a banging tune. I left for a moment. What happened? Oh, they actually came over. She was an absolute bitch. Colonel Sanders enjoyed our mashed potatoes. And now we're choosing who we're going to, you know, have help us. Are we going to ask for help from Sanders? Why did you stop it? Fine, I'll turn it back up. Boom, son. We're going back. There's the music. We're going for it. Sanders, man, help me. I'm here to learn and express myself via cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of the class, so let's all respect the format, okay? 
and turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? Sometimes conflict can actually build character. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, Josh. Wow. Is he just not that into you? You think a gentleman would defend you in a situation like this? Did you do something to offend him at some point? You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture, with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your ne- your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. I'm going to turn the music up. Let's just take a moment together. Don't spoil the moment. Whoever in chat said put your dick on it. Don't... Don't spoil the moment. People are saying it's a little loud. No, it's not. It's perfect. Is the game based on an actual experience of the Colonel? This is actually a documentary. This is a documentary right now. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand, holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potato and lift a heaping sporkful up when you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then... Filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potato right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van, Van, do something, do something. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Hey, Josh, how's the acting degree working out? I don't want to talk about it. Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potato and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Josh. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, face? Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hands. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my speciality. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe. Forged by my supreme chef ancestors. You've ignored me for... Oh, he's back. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish, right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I, um, think I left something in the oven. I, I don't feel so good. It killed him. 
Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped into Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Ghost of student. Hello. I turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. Dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I imagine myself putting a finger on his lips at this point. The fuck did I just walk in on? Right, listen. Listen. There's a lot of backstory. There's a lot of emotion built up over the last hour and 43 minutes. And if you want to go back and live and experience all of it, you can do. But it's intense. You, yeah, you walked in on love. Yeah? You walked in on the truth. That's what you walked in on. We banging Colonel Sanders. I mean, not yet, but we've got plans. I imagine putting a finger on his lips. Before you go on, I want you to know man, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them. It reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Do you want the Colonel Sanders, Piper? Do you want the Colonel? No, you want to lick my arm. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. We can do this. Joe Space Dandy Joe just killed the little chef. He did. Straight up killed them. Just murdered them in cold blood. Piper's hungry. Piper always likes to just lick my arm for some reason. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Josh? There's something I need to tell you. Aha! Hold it right there! There's something no. I need to tell you first. I'm sorry, Apollo. Am I not paying you enough attention? That's my other dog. Ugh. Apollo, come here. I'm sorry, am I not paying you enough attention? Are you not being floofed enough? Is that right? Is that what's happening? Is there not enough hugs and floofs going on right now? Do we need more hugs and floofs? I'll make the camera a bit big as you guys can see. Don't know if you've met Apollo before. Apollo, wave. Good wave, well done. That's a solid wave right there. Super impressed with your wave. Do I get a lick? Do I get a... No, you want the you want the Sanders. You wanna oh you wanna just lie on me, do you? Apollo occasionally likes to just lie on me like this. He likes being hugged and he likes having his head stroked. See? There we go. That's good. Is he a Japanese spitz? Correct, yes he is. Yeah, there we go. We get the hug. You happy with the hug now, Apollo? You good? Is that a good enough hug for you? Okay. Right. You can pop back, because I believe it's your bedtime now. It's probably my bedtime, but Colonel Sanders is keeping me up. You know, I hope things are about to get finger-licking good. 
That's what I'm, uh, I'm really hoping. But I think that Jojo has just interrupted and unfortunately potentially ruined our amazing evening here. Well, I say Jojo. Van Van. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I have been working toward that dream night and day, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes, floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, hey, no, no, I, I, you, shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I am the hero. His name was Student. That was the guy's actual name. Spork Monster is here to fight a hero. What? Van Van? I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. We will not let harm come to another student. Except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. Because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just like a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? My God, what do we do? I mean, this is, I'm ready for this now. Do we attack? Do we defend? They say the best attack is attack. Hang on, I need to poll this. Poll. Okay, so we attack. I do not understand, don't try. Attack, defend. 15 second fighting round. Yeah, this is it. Here we go. This music is on point for this. It's just randomly like a spork monster showed up. What do we go? Attack and defend. Do not 50-50 this, guys. I need some actual guidance and advice. Attack it like you attack Sander's heart. Defend it like I would defend my love for him. Can we also take a moment to appreciate the fact that they've got the exact colour of the Final Fantasy VII background blue. And... They've got the pixelated edges on that. This is perfect. They have really... Have you seen Asmon's video reacting to your video? I have not. Has he genuinely done one? Like, I'm not lying. Has he actually genuinely reacted to the video of me reacting to him? Because that would be amazing. Re remember that my video is three hours long. My video is three and a half hours long. You know they have fun cre- oh they definitely have fun creating this. We are attacking. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. It's the only attack we know guys, we've got to do it. Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. That attack really upsets Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. God, what do we do? Han, it's your first time chatting. You are literally new. What do we do? How are we killing the Spork Monster, mate? Is this a good MMO? Literally the best. I need to know. Are we polling it again? Hang on. Are we polling it again? Right. Question. Again. Attack or defend? Oh my god, we're doing a one minute poll for every single one. Good lord. I mean... I think we should attack again, guys. It is... I'm new here, Josh. I was wondering, what, what's your take your Emmy on Camelot Unchained? Caro, I appreciate the fact that this is the stream that you've walked in on and you've gone, yes, this is definitely the man to ask important MMORPG questions about at this exact time. I haven't played Camelot Unchained yet, so I don't yet know. This, this is not the vibe. My mind is not in the right place right now. 
So I think we're going to go for attacking again. Guys, the best offense is being offensive. That's what it is. I have to lick his fingers to defeat him once and for all. Hey, man, he's a monster. I'll, I'll eat that. That's fine. I mean, look. Look, the guy looks like a giant dumpling. That looks fine. Do you want to moist? I always want to moist. How do you play Dark Age of Camelot? I haven't. No. Don't 50-50 this, guys. I need an actual answer. There's an 80% chance every poll ends in 50-50. Defense! You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. Gorgeous. The defense move is called trepidation. I'm so happy. Sorry, there's like a little random in-joke that I love the word trepidation. I just think it's freaking brilliant. And I try and use it every chance I get. Every day, I try and find a little bit of trepidation. My partner hates it. She hates it so much. But, oh man, this is just, that has, yes, trepidation. You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure. You do you. Spork Monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Okay, hang on. Paul, how do we do this? Response? Oh, and respond? Do we attack or do we defend? There is probably... There is probably actually a sequence that you need to choose that wins this fight, but I don't know what this sequence is. I love how Vold used three exclamation marks there to go... Kakata. Kakata, yes. Kakata. Vold, I completely agree with you. We should Kakata really hard. That's what we should do. You should moistly trepidate it. K no, we're going to Kakata it. It was the... It was just... It was the conviction that you said it with. Does Colonel Sanders want to watch us be a sub or a dom? That is the question. Defend because it's buffing up. It is buffing up, isn't it? So, attacking is winning. I think we should defend this one. We defend this one because it just buffed its attack. So you want to attack, attack, defend. Attack, attack, defend. But you guys say attack, so we're going to go for attack. We're going to go for attack. You got on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Utility tensile. You take two damage. If you take much more, you're not going to survive the battle. I think, right, okay, I'm taking over from you guys. You can't do this. You cannot be trusted with a turn-based battle system. We're going to attack. Right, we attack Cook with love. One damage. It's oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded Edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Hot pie power pinch. Chest. Pot pie power pinch does ten damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You saved me. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Forget Mercy. Finish him. Uh, spare this wretched beast. He basically, he just kill stole. That's what he just did. That was a kill steal. Okay. Do we finish him? Or do we spare him? This is what we vote for, guys. I'm dying here. No, you're not. Spork monster's dying here. There is another vote in the chat right now. I need to know whether you guys want to kill Spork Monster, show no mercy, Cobra Kai style, or do we spare him? Show him our humanity. It's a big theme in anime, it is true. Don't do, don't do the 50-50 thing, oh god. Streaming is meant to be about entertaining, 
It's meant to be about an equal give and take, a fun little experience, a kind of a relationship between streamer and viewer, and you guys are looking at that. You are spitting in the sacred face of streaming. You've got one job. One job is to just choose what you want, but instead you are being true neutral and voting 50-50. 80% of the time, it's 50-50. Spare him winning with 51%. Yes, yeah, screw you, chat. You tried. Spare him. You managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realise that he is still a living creature with a pure soul. Who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Rigged and cringe. Yeah, because that... Rigged and cringe because that was the part that was cringe about this. That was the moment that it all went wrong. Be gone, beast. And don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. We're on day one of three. I've been streaming for two hours. We're going to have to push this on. I won't forget this. And I won't be back. Like you said. The spork monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells. Oh, it's that Harry Potter video again, isn't it? With a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. I am willing to guess that Borco is Professor Dog or Professor Dog's dad. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realise that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up and over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my Colonel. In your dream... You're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. What am I playing? Did, was that just a dream of all of the characters just flying on chicken? What was that? First time catching a stream and I'm already questioning my sexuality with Colonel Sanders. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely Colonel. Yes, Colonel Sexual. That's what we are. Definitely, what the actual fuck? Just Monica. That is, yes. This is making me want to eat chicken. The game is a success. Day two needs to be a Saturday stream. Even Josh is so out of it. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild vision you had. Were those memories or premonitions? Can we save? Is that the save button? This is day two. Remember, there are three days. We've been streaming two hours. Here is, can you right click on it maybe? No? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used blank. And then, there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. And that story will be told on Saturday. Would you believe it that we've been streaming for two hours? She's banging Clank. That's what it was. She had a night of passion with Clank. 
Ladies and gents, we've been streaming for two hours. I wouldn't believe it. The story is in France. Yeah, for some reason this is the French background music. Hey Josh, we're taking a break from Skyrim for a while if I missed the completion of your son's stupid adventure. So, I haven't finished Skyrim yet. I will go back on. Clank, he definitely clanked her. Ladies and gents, this entire stream will go up on the Josh Strife Replays channel. Josh Strife Replays will have the... I can't believe I'm going to say this. Part 1, 2 and 3 playthrough of the I love you Colonel Sanders dating sim. I'm going to be real with you guys. I really hope we don't become a dating sim channel. We may do the occasional dating sim, but I'm, I'm staying MMORPG focused. We are not doing this often. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I will see you on Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure what the next episode of Worst MMO ever will be, but I can tell you if you want to know what the next Was It Good will be. If you just joined us, by the way, there are a couple of channels. There's Josh Drive Haze, which is MMORPGs. Josh Drive Plays, which is retro games and replaying. Uh, Josh Drive Says, which is the clip channel uh, from smaller Twitch clips. And Josh Drive Replays, which is full episodes like this. Replays is the next one. The next Was It Good is going to be the original Baldur's Gate on PC. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care, have a good night, and God bless. Why are we playing this?